Hey, 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 Pyromaniacs, what's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. You've got Mo coming at you with another quick hit. Now, if you've been listening, you all know I have Moncrief belief. And not only have I made this call way early on in the season, I think it was about March, I did a radio spot where at the time it was crazy, where I said, and I've recently Said it again with Houdini on the Pyro Light where we did our bold predictions. I truly believe Moncrief has the potential of outscoring T.Y. Hilton in PPR formats. Now, I still think Hilton is going to outscore Moncrief probably in standard fantasy formats. Where I think he's going to make his hay is in the touchdowns. Now, a few things... I want to look at this chart here. My boy Lytix just outdid himself. You guys should see this whole thing. It is just incredible. At the top of the chart, I'm hoping you can kind of see uh, the top yellow there. The top of the chart, I just didn't have it all. It couldn't all fit in, and I didn't want to scroll. I wanted you just to look at one screen, but at the top of the chart, in yellow, you have the totals for T.Y. Hilton. So here's the receptions column. T.Y. had 31 When Luck was on the field, if you actually look, Moncrief had 32 when Luck was on the field. He actually uh, out-caught T.Y. Hilton. And then, of course, if you look over here, you got targets. Indeed, Hilton had more. You look over here at yards. Indeed, Hilton had more. Touchdowns is really where it's going to win it for Moncrief. If you ask me, Moncrief had five. Hilton had three. Now, before I show you the projections at the bottom, uh, well, maybe I'll start there. Uh, We've got the dark green here. Now, this is the dark green Moncrief. Moncrief, if indeed luck played all 16. Dark green, as you see, because we know that Moncrief had one more reception. So obviously, if he would have played all 16 with luck, he would have projected to have more receptions than Hilton. So the dark green right here is, if Luck played, this is Moncrief's projections. The dark blue is Hilton's projections, as you see, projected out. Hilton would have had 70.86 receptions with Luck. Moncrief would have had 73.14. The big one, though, is the uh, touchdowns. Moncrief would have almost doubled the touchdowns from Luck. Fantasy points in PPR, it would have been a lot closer than people realized last year. If Luck would have played all 16, Moncrief in PPR would have got a little over 219 points. Hilton would have got 232. Now, as it was, Hilton's actual year last year is, I guess, this light blue down here. Hilton actually had 211. Moncrief actually had 173. Of course, that was with Hasselbeck and uh, not the caliber of gunslinger that Andrew Luck is. What's interesting, I think, is the projections if Luck would have stayed, because now this year, of course, they've got Luck. Nearly double the touchdowns. And look at that gap. 219 if Luck would have stayed. For Moncrief, 232. Closer than most people think. Now, if he can just get two more touchdowns, now we're talking ballpark. Now we're talking he might actually outscore him. So a couple of things. Why do I think he's going to outscore him? Why do I think he's going to get so many TDs? You know, last year, uh, Moncrief, again, five of his touchdowns came in the seven games that Andrew Luck played. That was 33% of Luck's 2015 passing touchdowns went directly to Moncrief. With Hilton on the field, the defensive focus is obviously going to be on him. Moncrief is going to draw the softer coverage, coverage in which to wreak havoc. You've got 160 vacated targets just from the departures of Andrew Uh, Andre Johnson, and Kobe Fleener. Also, when they get into the red zone, uh, we're talking 6'2", 222 pounds for Moncrief. He's the only starting wide receiver over 6 feet tall. Dwayne Allen is a tight end. He's 6'3". But again, Moncrief is the only starting wide receiver over 6 feet tall. And when they get down in the red zone, as it was, Luck already looked more for Moncrief inside the ten last year. But uh, when they get down there, 
He's going to look for the big targets. He's going to look for Moncrief. We already saw it week one. And they've got Gore. They don't have a running game. It's amazing that they didn't pick up uh, a better back. I just Ferguson is not cutting the mustard. They don't have a running back that can get it done between the tackles in the red zone. I think uh, this is why Bortles skyrocketed and tied Aaron Rodgers for the most red zone attempts last year. I think we're going to see something similar in luck just because there is no real ground game. And the tall man, the big bodied man, such as mine, Kreef, he's going to be the beneficiary of that. Uh, we saw that with Alan Hearns last year. We, uh, we even saw that somewhat with a Decker last year, I think. Uh, 12 TDs for him. I think Moncrief can be that TD machine once they get in close, as we saw already. And as Lytics, thank you for drawing up this wonderful chart, has proved that touchdowns nearly doubled. Nearly doubled was the projection with luck. I think we're going to see that come to fruition this year. And if he can just stretch some yards, get some more yards... And man, they are going to be in some shootouts if you watched week one. That's not a, not a tough defense. Uh, their defense, the secondary, was already banged up right out of the gates. I think that's going to be fantasy goo. Fantasy goodness for all. Thus, my Moncrief belief. Believe it, baby. All right, guys. Thanks so much. This has been another Mo Quick Hit. Stay tuned for more. As always, Pyromaniac, the only fantasy football company with soul.